I got a tripod. Let me see. This is the bass booster, apparently. Bass booster, bass booster. And this is without the bass booster. This apparently is something. I don't know. And now this is nothing. Is it working? Hey, I have no idea. <laughs> We're making burgers. Wow, it's like really zoomed out. They're vegan. Uh, I don't have the thingy on it yet. I know, that's cool though. But, it's oh, well, I guess you're kind of far from me actually. You have longer arms than I do. I'm like all the way extended with the arms. Anyways, got all new uh, camera stuff. So I'm just trying it out. Let me know what y'all think. So welcome back everybody to Train Enable, where we help struggling gym goers become fit, happy, and confident through custom tailored workouts. And I think it's so awesome that you guys reached out and were like, hey man, where are you at? Uh, I was kind of holding off on creating some content waiting for the new camera stuff to come in. And now that it's in, I'm gonna start trying to do something a little bit different and kind of go like a vlog style. So for those of you who've been following for a little bit, for the last couple of years, I've been doing a lot of traditional like weightlifting stuff. So, I'm gonna see if I can run a sub five minute mile because that's very much different than what I've been doing. So it's a little bit of a challenge and we'll see what happens. So hopefully this turns in how to run a five sub five minute mile because hopefully I'm successful at it. I have no idea, but it's Monday. I'm getting ready to go to the track right now for a little bit of speed work because that's one of the things that I've read that will help you get to that sub five minute mile. So the reason why I started trying to chase down like a sub five minute mile is because of the quarantine, honestly. We don't have access to all the traditional like training tools that we normally use. So I was thinking what is always accessible and the outdoors is always there. So just got to run in with the wife cause she'd been doing it for a little bit. So now it's something that we can also do together. And it's just a fun little challenge that you know, just like I used to think squatting 400 was impossible. Let's see if I can change it to uh, running a five minute mile being possible. And the dog is gonna join us. Okay, so what I've been using for the running plan is from Nike Running Club. So I'll link it in the description below and I'll also put the little icon that you can download from your app. It's a really great tool because they give you some guided runs and the plan includes all those guided runs. So week by week, they just recombined um, based on what your goal is. So they have a 5K plan, a 10K, a half marathon, marathon. So I'm using the 5K right now. And uh, like I said, we were doing some speed work, some intervals of differing lengths at differing paces. And one of my 45 second intervals was run at like a 517 mile pace. And all I gotta say is I got a long way to go because that hardly felt sustainable for 45 seconds. So that's kind of where I'm at right now. But a big inspiration for this was uh, Nick Bear. So I saw him post a video and he ran a sub five mile at 194 pounds body weight. So I am substantially lighter than that. And I got to admit, I do have a track and field background, so I think I should be able to do it based on those factors alone. But should and reality sometimes don't line up. So we're gonna head home. Um, me and the dog and wife are all exercised up. 
I'm gonna have some breakfast and then uh, we'll touch base with you a little later. Peace. So I know before I signed off while we were at the track, I said that we were gonna um, head home and have some breakfast, but I lied because I forgot I still have some stuff to do because not only am I going to try and run a sub five minute mile, I'm going to try and run while continuing to bodybuild. So I'll put up my weekly plan here. So since we're at home, all I got is a 44 pound kettlebell, a 50 pound dumbbell, and I got two sets of 15s. So what I'm gonna do is we're gonna do some floor presses with the 50 and the 44 kettlebell. Then we're gonna do some deficit push-ups and then straight from there, I'm going to do uh, normal push-ups. It's always the hardest part is getting the weights all established. Done with the workout, had a great breakfast. Um, sipping some coffee now, I'm about to get to a little bit of work. And one thing that I know from my track and field experience, I need to invest in proper footwear. So what I have done is I've gone out and I've bought a good pair of shoes. Now I have the Hoka One One um, Carbon X, and it's a great shoe, but one thing that is kind of inevitable as you start getting into any different sports is you're gonna have some bumps and bruises along the way. So right now I'm kind of battling a blister or a hot spot on each foot kind of at the end of the arch. So I'll kind of like put some pictures up here and they're on the same spot on both feet. So from transitioning from my like CrossFit and weightlifting, I know that your skin actually needs time to adapt to the new activities that you're consistently asking of it. So you need about three weeks for your skin to kind of become acclimated to that. So I'm hoping and anticipating that my feet are very much the same. They just kind of need some time. So if you are starting to run, or maybe you want to know how to run a sub five minute mile, footwear is going to get you there faster and more comfortably, but know that you're still probably going to have a little bumps and bruises along the way. But I think that's where I'm going to leave you guys for today. Uh, maybe we'll check back in later for a little mobility, but that's as far as uh, I'm going to get for training today. I'm just going to fuel up and tomorrow we're doing a recovery run. So it'll be kind of a more chill day. So I'll see you guys either for mobility or for tomorrow's recovery run. Morning there, buddy. Tuesday, getting ready for this shorter recovery run. It's only seven minutes. So taking Gina and the dog along. Gonna be real slow, kind of just like a trot. Hopefully the feet hold up fine. But after that, we're gonna come back and do a little bit of upper body pulling. So I will see you guys shortly. Okay, so back from the recovery run. As one of the biggest tips on all the videos I saw is that when you go on a recovery run or an easy day is to actually take it easy. And my recovery pace is around 7.40. Um, so it was only a seven minute run, like I said, and I went out a little fast. So I finished in 7.11 pace, just shy of a mile, so 0.97. So now I'm gonna do some bent over row, some lap pull down with a band, kind of Jimmy rigged over the doorway um, yeah. show you guys what that looks like So I realized I was supposed to either pick you up when I was doing my mobility stuff. Obviously I did not do that because we went on the run. Just finished up the kind of little weightlifting portion um, like I showed you. And what I forgot to show you yesterday was that I did some core and ab stuff. I'm trying to do that almost every day to make sure that stays nice and strong. So I'm just gonna do a few Russian twists 
Um, maybe some Superman to get the other side. And yeah, let's see what that looks like. Uh, you gotta do those slow, in my opinion, to get the best uh, stimulus out of it. Reach real far in each direction. So now let's get to these Supermans. So that's kind of it for today, as far as training goes. This time I will pick you back up um, before bed when I've been doing my stretching mobility stuff. So just general maintenance to make sure that this journey on how to run a sub five minute mile while continuing to body build is a thing. So see you guys then. All right, third time is the charm. First time I didn't have the mic plugged in. Second time I had the mic plugged in, didn't turn it on. So now not only is it plugged in and turned on, well, we're also recording. So, as promised, mobility stuff. Gotta focus on them ankles, hamstrings, hips, uh, all parts that get a lot of use in running. So, $8 Amazon foam roller. First thing that I've been trying to do nightly is get those calves, do a little uh, foot circle if I'm really sore, and just kind of go back and forth. We should get about a minute on uh, each side there. Then I'll move to the hamstring. Again, if I'm super sore, I'll leave that foot planted. If I really want to get in there, I'll cross the leg over the other. It can handle it because it's a big muscle group. Then, since I'm already seated, go into that uh, butterfly stretch. Stretch out the groin a little bit for a minute. And then from there, go into the pigeon pose. So opposite foot goes to that opposite hip. Get that outer glute stretch for a minute each side. Obviously I'm speeding through this because nobody wants to see me stretch for 10 minutes. But then I'll finish off that routine. I prop that foot up on a couch or going up against the wall. Knee is planted, kind of in that lunge. Squeeze the butt cheek on that side. Get a good stretch through the hip down the front. I think we successfully documented this correctly. So I will see you guys manana. Morning everybody, it's Wednesday. No running on the schedule today, but that's kind of intentional to kind of give the legs a little bit of a break, but we still gonna work the legs. We're just gonna do um, kind of like a more crossfit functional fitness style workout. So I'm thinking we're gonna do a 12 minute EMOM going between either squats or jumping squats and some kettlebell swings. Just kind of keep it easy, keep it moving, get ready for tomorrow's speed work again. Cool, let's see what that looks like. So I couldn't do the time lapse and uh, work my timer at the same time. So I used Gina's as she did her Tabata. So Tabata's 20 seconds of work, 10 seconds rest, and you do that eight rounds. But we did three Tabatas, so it's about 12 minutes total. So it worked out to be the same, I was just switching more often. So y'all, yeah, that's it for today's training. I think we go get some donuts, woo! get us over the midweek slump. We'll uh, take one of you guys on Thursday, pre-Friday. Okay, so I said I was gonna pick back up tomorrow for our next kind of speed run, but I lied because we are about to film the workout Wednesday, as today is Wednesday. So that will have already dropped. Um, if you have not done it yet, you can go back and I'll link it up here so that way you can have another workout under your belt. But let's get to filming this thing. Show us the setup, bruh. This is the setup. Our living room. We just kind of put this thing up. And then usually I put it in the hallway. So it's all the way out of the way. 
Do you want this fan off? I turned it off right. Oh, it's that fan. We got all the fans. But has he introduced you to Fernando? Because that's what's important. Look at him, he's so beautiful. He's got some new growth. These are new, and those are new, and those are new, and these are new, and those ones. Got the markers in here. So here he is, writing his workout up, so he can thoughtfully tell you all about it. Is there enough lighting? I think so. I didn't know that was sarcasm, but my stuff's in it. Oh. Was I supposed to say action? I, I just nodded. I just blanked out. That's okay. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to Train Enable, where we help struggling gym goers become fit, happy, and confident through custom tailored workouts. And today we're getting into Quarantine Fit 40. So, in light of Memorial Day, happened. <clears throat> so, it looks like we got ourselves a little good and bad situation here. Good news is that my feet are feeling much better before we go out on this speed run. But the bad news is my legs are sore from all them jumping squats. Um, did some math and I did like 160 yesterday. So as to be expected and you can't get away without any soreness when you work out, but it's also kind of wet and dreary outside. I don't know if you guys can really tell. So that'll make it a little extra adventure, but we got eight one minute intervals with a minute rest in between. So I will check back in with y'all afterwards. So when I said it was a little dreary outside, I didn't anticipate it would full on spelt me with rain. So now I'm soaking wet, but the run went good. Feet held up better than before. Oh, so that's always a win. But I wanted to see how much of this comes out. Not as much as I thought, but good run. No such thing as bad weather, just bad clothing. So I think that's where I'm gonna leave you guys for this vlog because it's Thursday right now, pre-Friday. I'm gonna have to edit today so I can drop this tomorrow. But I'd love to know what you guys thought of this kind of style. Did you find it useful? Did you find it entertaining? Um, if you did, I'd love to have you like, uh, drop a comment below, subscribe, check out some of our social channels that are um, down in the description box. And I will see you guys next week, next Wednesday for Workout Wednesday. Peace, y'all. Thanks for watching.